to Pussy Popping, you beautiful humans. My name is Ariane Andrew. I'm Matt Dillon, and welcome to another Piping Hot episode of Sipping the Tea, Quarantine Edition, where we uh, sip that tea, and I guess what? Spill, Spill that, that tea. tea. Oh, I got lost. I got lost. Um, well, usually I have my dog with me, but she had the groomer because of uh, quarantine two weeks in advance. So I, she out. I got you. Got Glitty today, girl. Glitty's in her house sleeping. Yeah. Well, thank you. For a baby thank the Lord that we have a super, super, super model with a story behind her with a mission, which I'm really excited to talk more. Hunter McGrady, welcome, my love. She's in the box somewhere. What's up, girl? How's it going, guys? You look fabulous. We're doing our best, girl. I'm obsessed with everything about you, what you stand for, who you are, and just, you know, just the positivity that I get from reading about you. So let's, let's kick it off. Let's dive right on in. So we are doing this quarantine style. So how are you dealing with quarantine and like, what have been some like positive takeaways that you've gotten from this experience so far? You know, it's funny. I talk about this with my husband all the time. I think that I've really been able to hone in what's important and what's like frivolous. Um, You know, at the beginning of this, we had our like necessities or what we thought were necessities. And now we're like, oh, we didn't actually need that stuff. Um, You know, and I'm hoping that coming out of this, a lot of people will feel a great sense of, you know, gratitude and um, gratefulness. You know, I mean, I miss hugging people. I miss, um, going to the grocery store and like conversing with people without a mask on, um, you know, it's, it's been okay though. You know, I, I'm trying to stay optimistic. My house is more organized than ever. <laughs> yes. Positive, see? see? Yeah, positive right there. That's, yeah. that's, that's quite an interesting perspective. I, before we delve into your story, I like the idea of, that you touched on. I hope that when we come out of this, that, you know, I think a lot of people are in that motion of finding gratitude for what they have and what they kind of realize that they didn't you know we there's so many blessings that we have in life and sometimes we let it just go so fast yeah I my my hope is that we don't just like fast forward and be like well that was that now let's just get back to it you know I agree yeah we needed like I think we need to take I think this was like the world's way of letting us know that like what we were doing was not right and like we need to do things different and take this slow going back into the world so true yes and plus mother nature needed i think a breather as well so oh i know <laughs> mother she nature was not breather. playing honey she's like i got you girl yeah she's like i'll show you just how powerful i am i she's a powerful beast honey watch out she comes for you tab so let's talk <laughs> let's talk your journey because to fast forward to right now COVID or no COVID, you're like Teen Vogue, you're everywhere. So let's go back to like the little girl that was getting started out. What was your dream? What was your goal? Like, did, what was your initial thing? Did you like, I want to be a model? Like, is that- yeah, I grew up, my mom was a model. My dad is still an actor. So I grew up in the industry in one way or another. Um, yeah. And I was just so fascinated with it. And I, and I always wanted to be in front of the camera. Every time the camera was on, I like lit up. I was a very shy shy child i'm still pretty shy like i i I consider myself an introverted extrovert um you know and i the moment the camera was on i was like oh my gosh here i am (laughs) and um my parents were like okay she's asked to do something so at 16 i um went into a modeling agency and i was much smaller than i am now i'm six feet tall but i was about a size two back then right now i'm about a size 18. Um, and they just kept telling me, they just kept saying, Hey, listen, you have to lose more weight. You have to lose more weight. Like this is just the industry. Like you cannot do this without losing more weight. Um, finally I I booked a job and I got to the job site and they, um, turned me away because I was too big at 114 pounds. They, uh, said that I was not able to shoot. They didn't even give me an option to change into any of their clothes. Nothing. Wow. At that moment, I was like. I don't know if this is for me. I don't think I want to do, to be a part of this in any way. Um, so I took the, you know, from there, 17, 18, 19, um, about three years off and did lots of therapy, um, really found myself and really honed in, you know, what I 
uh, found was true about myself and my body and that, you know, I was enough as I was. And during that time I had gained some weight. I had really kind of grew into, you know, the, the body that I was supposed to be in. Um, and then I got signed at 19 as a plus size model. And uh, it was kind of like off to the races from there. Yeah, it was like really cool. Like, so I was able to attain this dream while loving myself and not having to change myself and not having to conform to societal ideals. So it was like a double win, you know? Wow. I love it. That's such an amazing story, especially because so many people, especially in the industry, have a a hard time of like finding who they truly are or trying to be someone that they're not. So that's such an amazing story that you just, you know, really stuck to being like who you are and staying true to yourself. So, I mean, girl, yes. So, My hat's off to you, girl. I love that. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so let's talk about your, um, your clothing line, All Worthy, um, on QVC. Like what kind of, how did you come up with the idea and how did like, you know, take us through that do that spill the tea on that journey girl yes so i had i've always had a passion for fashion and i love clothes and i love everything about it um and you could tell i'm literally doing this inside my closet i was <laughs> like hang on can we just for the for the people listening because we do this at visual and podcast so the people that can't see she is living in her walk-in <laughs> Walk-in closet, honey. <laughs> it's, become my, it's become my, like, closet slash, like, here's, like, a big makeup space. Now it's my desk. Like, it's now, like, just my little, like, girly room. Wow. Um, but I have always had a, fa a passion for fashion. And um, I had always wanted to create. But, you know, for me, being a plus-size woman, I was never, never able to, um, you know, buy things that, you know, I wanted. They just didn't offer my size. And so I finally was like, listen, I have been so graciously given this platform, um, kicked off by Sports Illustrated. I was about to say, yes, honey. Yes, yes. honey. <laughs> I mean, like that is really Sports Illustrated gave me this incredible platform, um, you know, and, and a huge growth in, in, you know, my following and just people who had really like put their trust in me. Um, and I wanted to give them something wonderful. And I had always said, listen, I want to shop in a world where I can shop with my girlfriends of all sizes, size two to 22 and beyond. And, um, so finally when I met with QVC, they said, Hey, listen, we've not only been inclusive with sizing for many, many years. I mean, most of their brands there go up to a three X. Um, but we want to make your brand from extra, extra small to 5X. And I was like, wow. sign, seal, deliver, let's do this. Um, and they have really given me so much, you know, free reign to just design and have fun with it and um, let my personality show. And it's just been really, really a wonderful experience. I, that's, again, my hat's off to you. It's, it's kind of, the way your journey's evolved, and I want to kind of, you know, we were we were gearing towards the worldwide platform of Sports Illustrated is, you know, Kate Upton, the names that they're major women, major examples. Yeah. That gave you such a huge platform in a in a way that you know a lot of other places just don't. Does right. that give you extra pressure to, you know, that that then you have this massive following of young impressionable teenagers, beautiful women that are going through their own body issues. How does that sit with you? How does your messaging and then like feeling, oh my God, I don't, you know, that word role model is quite, it can be it is. There's a lot of pressure. People. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know, I think with anybody, once you kind of get that label, you're like, oh God, I don't want to let you down. But I think realizing the importance of being authentic and saying, hey, listen, I'm certainly not perfect. I have lots of struggles. Uh, you know, I think that's what's most important. The more honest and open you can be, that is what they look at. They're not looking for someone who's perfect. People are not looking anymore. Like, you know, we see lots of people who have like the face tune photoshop version of themselves out there oh honey which... spill the tea who are you talking about girl <laughs> spill that tea. Name, name and shame child. everybody yeah, on right? instagram <laughs> but right like don't you see that you're like oh my god i could never ever ever 
do this. And then it's so hard to attain that. And so I think being as honest as you can, that's like the, that's like kind of also like lifted off the pressure. I was like, listen, like I deal with these things too. And so do you. And you know, yeah. so you have to kind of look at it that way. I appreciate that. Yeah. Again, it's just, I mean, you've gotten your success from being, again, like being authentic to yourself, you know, that's usually how people do actually succeed is when they're just true to who, who they are and then they don't have to live a lie. So right. I love yeah. that. I love that you shared that. So like, you know, you've done so many things, um, sports illustrated, like the, the list goes on. What would you say is like the highlight, um, before like the highlight of your career so far? Oh my gosh. Well, it's funny. It's a tie between, I just shot my fourth season with Sports Illustrated. It's a tie between wow. Sports Illustrated and having my own clothing line. I mean, like that's like pretty much every year I do Sports Illustrated. I'm like, I am so grateful to be back. And every year I'm in awe of the women I get to do it with. Um, I mean, last year we had like Camille Caustic and Tyra Banks on the cover. Like yeah, just even gracing mean. those pages with those girls are amazing. Um, you know, and then having my own clothing line, that, that's like something that I have dreamt of for so long. And granted, I didn't think it would come this fast. So it's been like a really wild ride and like kind of crazy to wrap my head around. Well, I'll give you those two. You can do a tie. You can have them both. Yeah, yeah I'll pretty, do a tie. <laughs> they're pretty incredible. <laughs> Speaking of that you're in such stellar company with, you know, the world of Sports Illustrated and the way it's perceived now, it's, you know, the there's still a stigma attached from people that have like an issue with, you know, I think that's just people's insecurities, but these beautiful, powerful, strong women that are like pioneers. Do you have ambitions outside of that? Cause a lot of these women acting, performing, like what, where, what do you want to oh do? God, yeah. She's like, I want to do it all girl. I literally want to do it. It's so funny because my management asked me the same thing. We like go through our goals pretty much once a year. And I'm like, I want to do it all. I want to act. I want to host. Um, I want to grow my brand all worthy. I would love a makeup line. I want a, a product line for skincare. I want, you know, real estate. I want the, like, I want it all. I think that's the biggest thing is like my family have, they've always taught me like take a big bite of, out of life because there's, oh. the, you know, it's available to all of us. Oh. It's just the drive behind you, right? Oh, true. Yeah. I, I think if we were in studio, we would ask you, can you repeat that, take a bite out of life court? Because I need to like, that's a good one, honey. <laughs> yes, it is, right? We have to take a bite out of life. Like, it is so important. Like, that's like, we are only given this one time. And I think a lot of times people feel like they're so limited and but it, we're, we all have, like, that's the whole thing, reason behind my name, All Worthy, is we're all worthy of these things. We're all worthy of success, of feeling empowered, of feeling confident, of love, of all these things. So, yeah. I can, I can see a full, yeah, this is, you got some great things ahead, I can tell. <laughs> yes, there's, and you're, you know, it's, life is about having your cake and eating it too, you know what I mean? Just have it, exactly. that's all. Um, I always say that, like, most people's dreams live at the cemetery because everyone has a dream, but you know, and everyone has talent, but it's like the execution. It's like life is meant to be lived in all aspects. Absolutely. Yeah. Amen. Oh, wise women. I'm surrounded by some wise women today. <laughs> I live, honey. I live. <laughs> yes. So quick question before we dive into the rapid fire. Um, if in a small sentence, if you could redo anything, what would you say you would go back in time and redo? Gosh, I don't know if I would, you know, I would redo um, the me not thinking that I wasn't worthy enough to be in the situation that I was in in 2016. I mean, granted, thinking that kind of gave me this yeah really opened my mind to so much like I don't think there's much I would redo to be completely honest I think that um you know maybe I would have said oh bullying in high school but that's really gotten me where I have you know my thick skin today like there's steps through our lives where they have all added up and created the person that we are today so I don't okay. know if I would redo anything I love that I, I think that's okay. the perfect answer because yeah. I'm, I'm I'm an advocate for Every experience, if you use it in a way and take it in and really let it sit with you, can really 
affect the result later on. So I appreciate that that perspective Absolutely. because I think I think that's why it's good to have people like you in positions that have, you know, that actually are using their platforms for a greater purpose. It's great to have, you know, almost a million followers and all that good shit and all that juiciness, but right. you know, we the the world is is changing and the world is weeping right now. We're all in this big change. It's yeah. like coming out of this. Yeah conversations like these are really important that I, I think it relates back to how this started. I hope people take this moment in time and reflect and lead with their best foot forward because honey, you're going to trip along the way, but it's like, get back up and give it your, you know, I, your totally. vibe is 100. I'm living for the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's seriously awesome. about like learning from, the, you know, the process, like, you know, cause we've all made, you know, hiccups, but it's about taking that and using that to push. What forward. are you talking about? I didn't make any hiccups today. Yeah, right. Today. <laughs> today. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> okay, should we hit the rapid fire? All right, let's try, let's keep it rapid. Let's see if we okay. can hit the rapid. Right. Um, what is the last show you binge watched on? I'm married at first sight. Okay. Oh my God, yes. Next, mornings or late night? Late nights. Your favorite board game growing up? Uh, Monopoly. It takes Ooh, forever to finish. Get that, get that $200 child. All right, last one. <laughs> what is the best compliment you've ever received and do you remember who it came from? Um, I always get, you are just like your mom and it's from everybody and which is like the biggest compliment ever because she's my hero and she will forever be my hero. I get it from everybody who has ever met my mom. Aww. Yeah. I can't think of any other way to end this. So beautiful. Yes. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Well, before we go, girl, we have to make sure that everyone knows where to follow you at so they can keep up with your journey and your story. Yep. I am at Hunter McGrady on all platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, TikTok. I guess I'm on TikTok now. Oh, and uh, you can TikTok. buy Allworthy on QVC.com now. You better get that Allworthy, honey. You're going to be, you know, <laughs> you know, you're going to be the next Lisa Rinna, honey. She owns that QVC, girl. I can only dream. I can Me only too, dream girl. Me dream. too. <laughs> Put it into the atmosphere. Put it into the yes, atmosphere. Lisa Rinna is my girl. I love that. Oh I my love God. Where can everybody follow you at, Matt? You can follow me at Matt Dillon 1983 across the board. And what about you, Ari? You guys can follow me at Ariane Andrew across the board. On all all right, gang. All right, guys. Bye. Until next time, we'll catch you on Sipping the Tea. Uh, Bye, guys.